When he realized that his girlfriend was actually his own mother, he blinded himself with steel rods. Uh, Mr. Hall, I believe that I'm speaking on behalf of all of us when I say... Ew! <laughs> <laughs> Sir, are you certain that you're allowed to be teaching this? Amber, this is the classic tragedy, Oedipus Rex. Correction. Oedipus Rex? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fat-free decaf espresso bean? Ooh, excellent. <laughs> Where'd you get these? Groundhog's Day present from Murray. Groundhog Day, a decent Bill Murray movie, and another gnawing reminder that I am boyfriend challenged. Oh, to have a beau who would even give me a birthday present. Everyone else is in love. Murray and Dee, of course. Sean and his new shoes. Amber Big Shock is still going to study with herself. When is it going to be my turn? To a few announcements. Uh, MTV is going to be doing a segment on all the new dances oh. that you clever young people are doing these days. They're actually sending a camera crew to Alcott High. Are Beavis and Butthead coming? The cartoons, you moron. I'd still like to meet them. Also, we're going to have a transfer student uh, joining the campus. Who would like to volunteer to show them around? Uh, Mr. Hall, before we commit to a probable social slug, would you give us a brief bio? Well, I really don't know much about him, but, uh... If this were a musical, I would burst into song the second I laid eyes on the man of my... Whoa! It is my distinct pleasure to hand you this film you ordered, Mr. Hall. Huh, becoming a woman. You know what, Larry? I think this is supposed to go down the hall to Coach Deemer's girls' health class. Actually, Mr. Hall? I ordered it. Really? Mm -hmm. We need to talk. Introduce our transfer student, David Wright. Right. Girls, meet Mr. Wright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cher, weave your vixen web and snag this guy. He is adorable. Suddenly, I know what all the country songs are talking about. My heart is achy breaking. We're going to be together forever. Uh, Mr. Hall, I'd be more than happy to show David around the campus. Oh, that's very nice of you, Amber. Oh, no. While I was planning our future, Amber stole my husband. Check it out. This is the new dance I'm working on for the MTV set. Watch me now. Ha! Ha, you did good. You made me look good. Isn't it fat? I call it the dribble. I call it the embarrassment. <laughs> yeah? Let's see what you got. Oh, it's not a problem, baby, OK? Because I have created a dance that'll take this country by storm once seen on television. I call it the bungee jump. <laughs> Murray, a dance has to last longer than five seconds and you lay there. Will you please help me up? Please remind me why I date him. Because when he's not falling down, he is sweet and cute and worships the dirt you grind him into. <laughs> right, right. Suicide. Hey! The student tour coming through. Girl with the visible panty line, take it someplace else. <gasps> now, over there we have our cafeteria, which we like to call Cafe Puke. Give him your best come hither. So, you know, you need to spend a little more quality time with him alone, away from the evil Miss Thing. But where? She's on him like bleach on Jenny McCarthy. Hello. 
on the chance that we might need this, I convinced a lovesick computer nerd to hack me David's schedule. D? Convinced him how? Yeah. Unimportant detail, Murray. I'll tell you later, you'll <laughs> freak. <laughs> <laughs> this here says that this guy is headed toward modern dance class. <laughs> What kind of normal guy signs up for modern dance? Maybe it's the only class he could get into. He transferred late. Uh, or maybe this guy's smarter than he looks. Dig, here we are just making up amateur dances for TV while David's off getting professional help. You think? <laughs> I don't think, my tall but naive brother. <laughs> I know. Exactly what kind of normal guy signs up for modern dance class? Well, uh, I transferred so late in the year, it was about all I could get into. You are the dance teacher, aren't you? I'm the best there is, sonny boy. But lately, with no takers, I use the period to fine-tune my jump shot. Swish! Coach Deemer, we're here to dance. Mold me. Shape me. Keep going. I'll stop you when I hear something I want to do. Nice tights. Glad this old thing. Real dancing takes commitment. It takes hard work and buckets of sweat. You people are gonna have to give it up. No slouching, princess. I mean, it's not just stand there and shake, shake, shake your booty. I'm prepared to do whatever it takes. Okay. First exercise. Get me a. when we dance. I mean, either that or the gym has an air condition. But then Amber showed up and they left together. I mean, maybe he likes her. Oh, sure, that is not possible, okay? Amber is like fruitcake at Christmas. Hard, stale, and passed around. Oh, yeah? Look. Oh, David, I forgot to mention I have tickets for Alanis Morissette Saturday night. Join me. Mm. It's tough. The Star Trek convention's in town. Saturday is the big Klingon open forum. Uh, I didn't realize that you were a Trekkie. Oh, yeah. You know, I actually have an original pair of Spock ears. I, I think I could probably, you know, dig you up a pair if you want to go. I just remembered that I have this really important appointment on Saturday night to have my sinuses irrigated. Hi. Listen, I, I know this isn't very much noticed, but um, there is a reprint of this fantastic Fred Astaire movie. It's playing at the New Art on Saturday. I'd love for you to go with me. Well, is this before or after the Star Trek convention? <laughs> what convention? Oh, no, I, I just told that to Amber, you know, so she'd kind of back off. <laughs> back off? She left skid marks. <laughs> <laughs> so Saturday? Yeah.
Daddy. So, uh, how was your date with Mr. Wright? Oh, Daddy, I just had the most amazing night Whoa. of my life. Whoa. I mean, I've never met anyone like David. Well, he seemed like a terrific guy. Smart, funny, knows baseball, movies. How many kids his age can do a Jack Palance impression? <laughs> What's not to love? Oh, right. What's not to love? He's perfect. Oh, honey, honey, nobody is perfect. Everyone has a flaw. Yours, for example, sending a dumb chain letter to my entire client list. Well, what was I supposed to do? Send them to people I know? Oh, friends don't do that to friends. Yes, well, Barbara Walters called. She was not amused. Sorry. I'm only saying if you can't see a flaw in a person, then maybe nothing you're seeing is real. Hmm? Okay, Daddy. I have got work to do. I remember when I used to think Cindy Crawford was flawless. And then she did that movie with Billy Baldwin. And then, oh, I don't even want to think about that Richard Gere chapter. Wait, suddenly it hits me. What if Daddy's right? What if David, who seems absolutely flawless, is totally faux? Oh, oh no. Cher, I was temporarily interested in David, but let's get real. You won him, I didn't, and I just want you to know that I'm okay with it. Really? No, but Daddy's a shrink, and he says that if I act like I feel that way, that maybe someday I actually will. <laughs> Besides, I am going to have babes in bulk once I win the dance contest. You know, you better have Daddy buy you some rhythm while you're at it. Well, my dance is called the cat box. <laughs> it's copyrighted, so steal and I sue. Don't worry. to dance as it is a cry for help. Spoken like an insanely jealous loser. Whatever. Excuse me. My mambo mate David has nary a flaw that I can see. My mission, to either find one or face the fact that he may be a total fraud. Flaw check. Let's see. Clothes, circa this week. Hair, tousled, not poofy. Gold chains around the neck, none. Cher, I uh, picked you up this little present. <gasps> oh, this is so sweet. <gasps> Why? I mean, it's not my birthday or anything. <laughs> I know, but it was beautiful, and it made me think of you. Bye. Does that give you any ideas? Well, yes, it does. Hey, David, if you see something that makes you think of Dee, snag it for me, okay? You are so lucky to be going out with him. He's a keeper. I know, he's, he's almost too good to be true. But he has to have at least one flaw, right? Duh. Otherwise, you're just sitting around waiting for the other shoe to drop. And the longer it takes to surface, the worse it is. Really? Absolutely. Can you imagine a world with perfect guys? Cosmo would cease to publish. Oh. Do you want I should run surveillance on this guy? Find out something about him? This coming from the man who can't find his car keys. I've got my keys, OK? I know exactly where I put my... in your pocket. It feels good to know that you have my keys, sweetie. <laughs> I'm just going to say this one more time. Thank you so much for catching that dinner check. I must have left my wallet in my locker at school. <laughs> Yeah, that must have been it. Hey, well, I'll pick you up tomorrow for that MTV thing. Bye. I'll be counting the minutes. <sighs> Wild gas. You took his wallet. Yeah, but it was only in a line of duty. See, we needed his social security number. <laughs> Remember in dance class when I plied into the dude? <laughs> That's when I snatched it. Well, it was wrong, and I am very disappointed in you two. What'd you find out? Anything bad? Here's his file. Why don't you take a look for yourself? Joined a record club and canceled after two months. What, that's it? He also donates money to Greenpeace, the Hunger Project, and the United Negro College Fund. No outstanding parking tickets, not even a stolen library book? Uh -uh. 
so he is perfect. Sure. Let's put it this way. If you dump the dude, I'll date him. I want to talk to you, Pilgrim. Sure, what's up? Okay, so far you seem okay, but we really don't know anything about you. What, what are you talking about? We're talking about Cher. Okay, she's special to us. Yeah. So you better not start stealing any library books. Or, or breaking her heart or anything. Yeah. Yeah. She's like a sister to us. And we're certified ninjas. We've got licenses. Really? 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 Wow, can I see them? Of course you can see them. Just can't see them now, cuz I... They're being laminated. Sean, the best you could throw out was laminated. You know, it's so easy to criticize. Well, that's cuz you're you, Sean. All right, guys, guys, listen. Two things, all right? Number one, you are really bad at this intimidation thing. It's mainly him, right? And number two, you don't gotta worry about Cher, man. I love her. I have no choice but to treat her like the goddess that she is. This is good. Here's your wallet. Oh, wow, you found my wallet. Yes, I did. Bang. Okay, CD poppers, listen up. I'm only gonna say this one time. Here's the drill. When the music starts, you begin to dance. The camera will move its way around, and when it does come to you, that's your big moment, okay? We're gonna start in just a minute. Do you realize that I studied at the USC Film School and the AFI internship for this? Thank you for letting me share. Italian? Well, sure, you know, in my family, the guys are the ones who make these decisions. Well, I mean, you, you can consider it another flaw. Cute, huh? <laughs> One was cute. There's a brand new dance that's sweeping the nation, and it's called the dribble, and it's my creation. It's easy to do, just take your time. If you mess up, then press rewind. Throw your arm out, hold your head back. Dribble to the left, now you're right on track. You can do my dance or a hip-hop swing, but never hesitate to create your own thing. Cut it, Jerry, cut it. You just got beat to another location. What? You, you can't cut me. You cut me. You can't cut the cat box. Sorry, kids. Apparently, some Brat Pack actor slash musician decided to chug lug a bottle of hair mousse, and now he's tossing his cookies outside some trendy crap hole. Let's roll. Mr. Mr. Producer, Mr. Producer, it's all yours.
Don't worry, Amber. I caught every minute of you on tape. You know what? You voyeuristic little freak. Go away! Sorry about that, man. No, it's okay. That was a copy. Anybody want to see the original? So let me go through this one more time. You're telling me you've been at school since September? Oh, this is so spooky. I, I don't remember seeing you here, and I know everyone. What, Sherry? You think I just snapped my fingers and magically appeared? As if. This is too weird for me. 